There's multiple reasons that we keep our eyes to the sky. Maybe that's the weather or maybe that's an element or feature that's outside of this world. And well, you've probably heard of some of those things. One could be an eclipse, but yet there is a couple types of eclipse that we could be well keeping our eyes on at night or even during the day because we have a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse and we're going to be breaking down the difference between the two. So first off a lunar eclipse. So this is where the earth is casting its shadow onto the moon and then of course then that shadow is going to dim the lighting that makes it to the moon. It's just like you and I when we're outside on the sidewalk on a sunny day and that sun is shining down. Well, then it's going to leave a shadow. Our planets that happens throughout the solar system causing then that eclipse. So this is what it looks like if we were flying out and uh, out and about amongst the stars. And of course you have the moon, it's orbiting Earth, and you're actually gonna find during a lunar eclipse that the Earth kind of gets in the way. So that means that the light towards the moon, not gonna quite make it. So you have all those light rays that are coming out from the sun, leaving a nice reflection here on the Earth. But then that light, well, it just can't make it. Casting that shadow on onto the moon, causing then that lunar eclipse. And at times though, it might appear to have a little bit of a reddish hue. No, on the other hand, the other one is a solar eclipse, and this is where the moon is now casting the shadow onto the Earth. And actually, the moon for us here on Earth can block or even give us a partial view of the sun. And at times, if it's blocked, then it's completely dark. So this is how it works. You still have the sun and we have the Earth, but in the middle, you have the moon that spins around and it kind of once again gets in the way, just like the Earth did during a lunar eclipse. But this solar eclipse, you can see we have the light coming from the sun, the moon then kind of getting into the way. And once again, we have that shadow that's casted. Now a solar eclipse happens quite a bit faster than a lunar eclipse. It takes just minutes for that eclipse to happen because of the movement of the earth, the moon and the sun. But because it goes fast, folks on the globe, they're able to actually see it and quite a few of them. It, it can cover about a third of the globe at times as far as its path length. Now, of course, we don't have eclipses all that often simply because of the tilt of the Earth. Now, what we're also going to be noticing from our standpoint is what does it look like here at home from Earth? Well, if you're looking at that lunar eclipse, I mentioned that it has that red color to it. And that's because those that light, those wavelengths, they're a lot longer. So as they're trying to make it to the moon, of course, the Earth blocking it, those longer wavelengths to our eyes appear about that red color. So that's why the moon sometimes can have a little bit of that reddish tone. Then in a solar eclipse, what it'll look like to us here on Earth is you have the sun, but then you have the moon. That's going to be moving in, and it's then going to be blocking the sun itself. So at times, during totality or that complete darkness, you can take those safety glasses off, but you are going to need them as that moon is moving through. Another difference between the two is that your lunar eclipse that has to happen when we're in full moon phase, but your solar eclipse, your moon would have to be in the new moon phase. Now that's just a quick difference between a solar and lunar eclipse. Of course, that we do have that total solar eclipse that's going to be happening and you can of course enjoy it right here at home. That will be though on March 8th, 2024. Of course, though, if you want more information on the total solar eclipse, make sure you head to WTOL.com. Reporting in studio, meteorologist Diane Phillips.